So here I have an M4 Wasp that I opened up. So these Wasp uh, M4 variations are on Amazon a lot now. They come with a drum magazine. Uh, I've shown you several. They shoot around 150 FPS. They do have the powered magazine and the priming magazine. They have the charging handle primer. So this was one that's not working properly. So just thought I would open it up. This isn't something that's fixable. Something's wrong. That's I mean, it's just not going to be worth trying to fix um, at this point for me. So I just thought I'd show you though what it looks like inside because I know people ask that at different times. So this is what it looks like. So you can see obviously much different than the M4 if you've seen the M4A1 uh, because the battery is down here in the handle. But then it's got a lot of extra things going on because it has the charging handle that helps prime the magazine. So that's definitely different than anything we've seen otherwise. You know, you can see the switches are a little different. Obviously, we've got your terminal the in the, in the magwell here for the uh, magazine to power that. But yeah, this switch, just, basically, there's just a switch right here that when this is in place... You know, when you pull it back, it just is basically pulling the switch back. And that's what's doing, turning on or priming, you know, that drum magazine. It's just essentially, it's just turning it on and that's getting the motor running and it's getting those gel balls flowing. So a lot more complicated though, as you can tell, because of all these different connections. And we don't see that with other blasters so much. Uh, when I first opened it up, I got a little excited because it looks to be the same size as the Scorpion submachine gun gel ball blaster gearbox. And I thought, oh, I could put one of these in there and get it shooting harder. But here is a Scorpion. And you can see the form factor is pretty close, but things do not line up. And when I've tried to hack things to make them line up, it, it just it doesn't end up working very well. So unfortunately, it's close, but not close enough. So that's what the M4 looks like on the inside, the M4 Wasp. A lot of different things that can go wrong. It's just more complicated than a regular, um, than any of the other blasters, really, just because of everything that's going on here. So I thought you guys might like to see that pretty quick. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe, and please make sure you're participating in all the giveaways. Thanks.